Project Option is a free, voluntary alcohol and drug prevention program that's offered in two of the Portland Public Schools. The project's funded by the National Institute of Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism. What we're trying to provide is an, a space for students to talk about those issues that are really the most important to them. Students meet uh, twice a week during lunch and they talk about a variety of different topics. So we spend some time talking about um, kind of myth busting about the effects of alcohol. Uh, we also talk about stress and coping and how to adaptively deal with stress in their lives. How to communicate, how do you talk to your friends about an issue, your parents or your teachers. You don't have to have done anything to be there. You can be having questions about why you feel alone, that you don't feel like you, wanna, you don't want to be using drugs or alcohol. You can be on the other end of having been in a, in a program and you're coming back in and needing kind of buffering and support. So it's just a real continuum of need and, um, and it's just, it's really low risk and confidential. The voluntary piece of Project Options is that, you know, oh, let's just go learn about this, talk about this, explore this. No one has referred them. They haven't been expelled from school and asked to go to treatment. It's not part of the, the therapy, per se. The therapist can't refer them. Um, it really has to be student-driven. It's so important that when we have kids individuating in high school, that they feel the control to be able to seek this out on their own, and that it's not somebody saying, I think you really need to go do this. The small group environment is really important. Allowing students to learn from each other is extraordinarily important. Um, and the fact that they're not forced to be there, they choose to come. The work that Project Options does complements so much of what we do. Our work as a counseling team is surrounding helping students make quality choices and it's just another tool for our counselors and students to access. I've seen great successes on individual basis and anecdotal successes and uh, over time I think it would just grow even much more. Our counseling team is eager to work with Chris and Project Options to ensure that that happens. Students who come to the counseling office may come here for schedule changes, they may want to talk about stress at home, they may be talking about college plans or apprenticeship programs, so there's a whole range of things that we do and because we are assessing and talking to kids and getting to know them and knowing what they need, we need people out there to be able to refer them to. So if we have students that are concerned, they're worried about their own drug and alcohol use or they have questions about it, Project Options has been a great place that we can just say, well, you know, there's this group and they meet at lunchtime and it's just a place you can go. It's completely confidential. I think the real benefit that Project Options brings to the school district is to help fill gaps in the alcohol and drug prevention services. Um, certainly the district has services for youth who um, have had a violation and uh, are require treatment. Also, the schools have been very active in recruiting uh, partnerships with the community to provide alcohol and drug treatment services. What's missing is that kind of small group space for youth who are looking to either uh, change their behavior, right, or those who are looking to maintain healthy behavior. So this is a kind of a specialized niche, I think, in terms of alcohol and drug prevention services here in the city.